Alright everybody, so how are we doing today? So guess what? Things are always just so typical, aren't they? Check this out. So, our final Rupley article from today states, Clinton body count, uh, pardon, Clinton body count trends on Twitter establishment blames, you guessed it, Russia. Because they're responsible for everything these days. Americans waking up to check Twitter were greeted with the trending hashtag Clinton body count. Excuse me. Uh, referencing a long-running conservative conspiracy theory. Its re-emergence ha has, of course, been blamed on Russian bots. The hashtag is familiar to anyone immersed in the uh, murkier ends of American right-wing culture. Think late-night talk radio and dog-eared copies of, no of, non of none dare call it conspiracy passed around backwoods militia meetings. Coined by writer and conspiracy theorist Danny Casolaro in the, in the late 1980s, the phrase has since uh, been used by conservatives to link the mysterious deaths of people in some way connected to Bill and Hillary Clinton. Like the 1993 suicide of White House Deputy Counsel Vince Foster and the fatal armed robbery of, robbery of Democratic National Committee staffer Seth Rich in 2016. There were a lot of odd uh, things happening during Hillary Clinton's campaign like we've never seen before. A bunch of people who were opposed to her just started dying or gone missing. And naturally, that's not proof, but that does correlate to the conspiracy theory. Of course, they're saying that the emergence of the, this cons particular conspiracy theory is due to uh, Russian bots on the internet is in itself a conspiracy theory. I have literally spoke with people on the left, fucking Antifa members, who like to restrict conspiracy theory to the realm of conservatives. That only conservatives do it. Hell, they even restrict authority, toxic authoritarianism and tyranny to the right wing, saying, uh, the left is inherently non-tyrannical. Bullshit. The whole Russian bot thing is very similar, if not entirely identical to, you know, Russia Gate and things like that. If Russia was really responsible for half the things people blame, blame them for, they wouldn't have time to even run their own damn country. It's ridiculous. Uh, adding to the mystery, Casolaro himself committed suicide in 1991 while working on a story supposedly involving an international cabal. The hashtag broke into the mainstream on Thursday, trending at number three in the U.S., its emergence came after millionaire financier Jeffrey Epstein was found injured and in a fetal position. On the floor of his New York jail cell, just hours before an associate of Bill Clinton, Epstein is currently facing up to 45 years in prison on charges of conspiracy and sex trafficking, with some of his alleged victims as young as 14. Twitter sleuths joined, uh, joined the dots. Blonde Anon tweet. When Clinton body count is trending on Twitter as a reaction to the story that Epstein attempted suicide, you know people are hip to the game, they need him gone at all costs. Another tweet. Antonio Villanueva, in Villanueva, anyone denying the concrete connection between Epstein and the Clintons better look at themselves in the mirror and ask, am I really defending a criminal family who has been testified against by victims of sexual assault? Clinton body count. Final tweet from Mary Elizabeth. I will. I also believe that someone tried to murder the Ep, mur, uh, to murder Epstein. He needs to be under high security for his safety, and do bet, and do bad people will finally be punished. And do bad people will finally be punished? Huh. Anyway, you know, in 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 this modern day of hashtag Me Too. You know, it's a moral panic similar to the satanic panic or reds under the bed, where everyone's looking for sexual predators everywhere and everyone's scared to touch anybody. It, it's absurd. And everyone gets blamed for everything. Now, I'm not defending Epstein. I'm not defending him. In fact, I believe him to be guilty. I'm just putting it out there that, you know, in the era of hashtag me too, it's becoming harder and harder to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. It's becoming very, very difficult for the vast majority of people, except for those who are willing to question their reality a little. 
You know, we're the exception, not the rule. To some, the hashtag had nothing to do with a decades-old right-wing horror story. To an army of, establ of established bug men, its sudden reappearance was the work of, surprise, surprise, Russian bots. The Democrat version of the conspiracy theory goes that Russian President Vladimir Putin was so incensed by the knockout testimony given by former special counsel Robert Mueller on Wednesday that he cranked up the output of his troll farms and, sw and swamped Twitter with the hashtag as a, as a distraction. The knockout testimony given by Robert Mueller. In what way was that testimony knockout? My God, the level of cognitive dissonance and groupthink here. It's unreal. Are you kidding me? The testimony was garbage. He was tired and out of his mind. He clearly didn't want to be there. His body language suggested extreme, uh, considerable discomfort and maybe even a little bit of mild deception. Or maybe not deception so much as evasion. Because he was asking questions he clearly did not want to answer. And there could be many reasons for that. And many of the questions asked to him were very leading questions. They were clearly trying to lead him into a verbal trap, hoping to get him to admit Trump's guilt. And it didn't work. Because there's no guilt to admit. There was nothing knockout about the, conf the supposed confession. These people are idiots. Sorry for the rant. Here's some tweets. Grant Stern. Russia didn't wait didn't wait long to prove Mueller 100% correct about put about pulling put it Putin interfering in our politics. Uh, Grant Stern. Russia didn't wait long to prove Mueller 100% correct about put Putin interfering in our politics today with the Clinton body count uh, trending hashtag. Another one from David Leavitt. Clinton body count and Mueller hearing disaster are trending right now. The Russian bots are, bots are out in full force. They would, they would be a great day for that real Donald Trump to resign. They would be a great day? Learn to spell, dude. K-N-O, or no. Troll forms earning their living already, and it's only 4 a.m. Clinton's Clinton body count. Fix your fucking trash app. At Jack. Should have said effing. Now I'm going to get deranked. Shit! Oh, that's gonna do me in too. Crap. Uh, except the hole in that theory is that no amount of sneaky Russian meddling is needed to distract from Mueller's testimony, stammering through answers, seemingly forgetting key details from his report, and declining to answer any questions outside its scope. Mueller did a pretty good job deflating the expectations of Democrats hoping for some new Russiagate revelations. With the left and the right fighting in an info war for control, of the hashtag, one commenter summed up the state of the debate, Clinton body count is trending, watch for people trying extra hard to convince you they know things that they that know things they don't today. David Emery, Clinton body count, decades old conspiracy theory, is trending apparently sex offender Jeffrey Epstein was injured in jail on Tuesday. Watch for people trying extra hard to convince you they know things they don't today. Yeah, like the left saying, oh, we know that Russian bots exist that they're paid by Vladimir Putin. We, we, we didn't just come up with that on our own. No, there's actual facts behind it. All I'm saying is that the Clinton body count conspiracy is possible. It's plausible. But with the, with the severe lack of physical evidence, it's really hard to say whether it's true or not. Anyway. I hope you realize that often the truth is very, very hard to find, especially in politics. Anyway.